Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. We've made Chiku. I love it. I love it too, Choo Choo. My best friend. Yeah. What good artists we are. It couldn't get better than this. Oh, wait a minute. It could get better than this. Oh no! Why did you do that, Chiku? You've ruined my picture! And our poster! I'm sorry, Choo Choo. I had no idea you would get upset. I should have asked you before I did that. But I was just having a little fun. Choo Choo, I'm sorry. That's my mommy coming to pick me up. Gotta go. Choo Choo? Best friends forever? I'm not so sure anymore if we're best friends. <sighs> Good night, Choo Choo. <sighs> what a lovely morning! Let me go down to the kitchen and see what Mommy and Daddy and Cha Cha and Taku are up to. Chiku's not my friend anymore. Good morning, Choo Choo. Good morning, Mommy and Daddy and Cha Cha and Taku. What's all this? What are these colors? Today's a festival called Holy Choo Choo. It's a festival that we celebrate with all these gorgeous colors. Holy? Yeah. It's a festival of color and love and friendship. It's when people get together with their families and their friends and throw these colors on each other and have a lot of fun. And Daddy and I want us to celebrate Holy as a family today. That, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun! But Mommy, why is Holy celebrated? Well, one of the reasons for celebrating Holy is to welcome spring. After a long, cold winter, when warm weather arrives, colorful new flowers start to bloom everywhere. Holy celebrations are a way of welcoming the beautiful season of spring on Earth. That's so cool! But Mommy, how did the Festival of Holy start? Oh, there's a very interesting story about how the Festival of Holy started. It's a story about a little boy god called Krishna and his best friend, a girl called Radha. Krishna and Radha? Will you tell us their story, Mommy, please? Of course, my darlings. <laughs> this is the story of Radha and Krishna and how they first celebrated Holi in the beautiful town of Vrindavan. Once upon a time, there lived a mischievous little god called Krishna. He had many friends. And often, he and his friends would play harmless little pranks on people. But everybody loved Krishna. But Krishna's best friend was a girl called Radha. Krishna was playful and mischievous. While Radha was serious, Krishna's skin was sunburned and dark, while Radha's skin was pale. And in their true friendship, it didn't matter at all that they were so different from each other. Mischievous Krishna would play pranks on Radha too. And sometimes they would argue or get mad at each other. But that didn't mean that they stopped being friends. Like all good friends, they always worked things out. 
When spring came to Vrindavan, Krishna planned a prank on Radha. He took a fistful of color and smeared it across her face, saying, Look, Radha, now your skin isn't pale anymore. But this time, Radha too had a prank up her sleeve. She signaled to her friends. Radha's friends picked up water blasters full of colored water and sprayed Krishna. This game looked like so much fun that all the people of Vrindavan came out and joined in, throwing color at each other. And that's how the Festival of Holi started. So, you see, my darlings, Holi is a festival when you forgive and forget and celebrate friendship and love. I can't wait to celebrate Holi! That's wonderful, Cha-Cha! Choo-Choo, you look a bit serious. Is everything okay? No, Mommy. Actually, yesterday I got really mad at Chiku. Aw, oh, Choo-Choo. But, Mommy, the story you just told us about Radha and Krishna, it's made me understand that sometimes friends can get mad at each other. That doesn't mean they stop being friends. That's right, darling. Mommy, I need to work things out with my friend. Is it okay if we invite Chiku and her brothers to celebrate Holi with us today? Of course, sweetheart. That'll be such a great way for you to make up with Chiku. Hang on. I'll just call Chiku's mommy. Right then. Chiku, Chika, and Kucha will be here soon. Yippee! It's going to be a fun holy! Chiku, I'm sorry I got mad at you yesterday. And I want you to know that you're still my best friend. And I'm sorry I made you mad, Choo Choo. And I too want you to know that you're still my best friend. Friends forever! <laughs> Because today is a festival called Diwali. And Mommy and Daddy are going to tell us all about it. Hika Puka Paku, my baby brother Taku. Are you excited too? Kakaku. Come on, let's go pick some flowers for Mommy. She wants to make a flower pattern at the front door. I'm Choo Choo. Today, my family and I are going to celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights. So, come on, join us. Here are the flowers, Mommy. Thank you, my darlings. Such pretty flowers. I'm going to make a rangoli with them. What's a rangoli, Mommy? It's a colorful decoration that people make at their doorsteps on Diwali. It brings good energies and positivity into our homes. Wow, that's such a good thought. 
Now, will my little sweethearts help me with the rangoli? Of course, Mommy! And I'll decorate the front door with this garland. Chuchu, people decorate their doorsteps with rangolis to invite and welcome people into their homes and their hearts. How wonderful! And why do people celebrate Diwali, Daddy? Good question, Chacha. Come, let me tell you the story of Diwali. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful prince named Rama. He was kind-hearted and took special care of the poor and the weak. All of his people loved him for his goodness. Rama's father, the king, saw how good and generous Rama was. And so, he wanted Rama to be the next king. But one day, a lady who didn't want Prince Rama to become king played a trick on the king and convinced him to send Prince Rama to a forest for 14 years. Poor Rama left his palace and lived a tough life in the forest. But he never stopped being gentle, kind, and good. After 14 years, when Prince Rama returned to his kingdom, the people were very happy. They lit up their homes with lamps, decorated their front doors, and welcomed him with joy to their homes. This is how the festival of Diwali started. That's so interesting. So, Diwali is all about defeating the bad thoughts inside of us and making the goodness in us more powerful. Wow! Thanks, Daddy! I'll always try and remember what Diwali is about. That's great, Chacha. Shall we go and make some more Diwali treats together now? Guess who called? It was Chiku and Chika's mommy. And guess what she said? They're all coming over to celebrate Diwali with us. Oh, that's great. It'll be fun to share our toys and our Diwali sweets with Chika and Chiku and their family. What happened, Cha-Cha? You don't look happy. Is something the matter? I was 
wish Chiku and Chika and their family wouldn't visit us today. But why is that, Cha-Cha? I thought you loved playing with Chiku and Chika. I do. But... But I don't want them to play with our new car set. I just want us to play with it. What if they spoil it? And if we share our Diwali sweets with them, they'll be even less for us. I don't want to give them the sweets we made. Oh, Cha-Cha. I see what the problem is. You don't want to share things with them. Cha-Cha, do you remember what Daddy told us about Diwali? That Diwali is all about defeating the bad thoughts inside us and making the goodness in us more powerful? So, Cha-Cha, look at it this way. If you're selfish and you don't want to share your stuff, you're letting the bad thoughts inside you become more powerful than the goodness inside of you. Do you want the bad thoughts to win? No, no. I want goodness to win. I sure want goodness to win. Choo Choo, I'm going to share our toys and sweets with Chiku and Chika and their family. And I'm going to defeat selfishness. Oh, Cha-Cha, that's so wonderful. Bro, this is such a cool car. Watch this green car go over the bridge. Boom! Choo Choo and Cha Cha, thanks for letting us play with these cars. You're welcome, Chiku and Chica. Hang on, let me get some Diwali sweets that we made. It's the festival of lights, it's Diwali tonight. Sparkling, twinkling, beautiful, bright, it's Diwali tonight. We'll decorate with colors bright, say bye to darkness, bring the light. Evil lost, good wins the fight, cause it's Diwali tonight. It's Diwali tonight. It's Diwali tonight. It's Diwali tonight. Happy Diwali, everyone. See you again soon. It was the night before Christmas. All the children were in Choo Choo's house. Chacha, Chica, and Cusley were helping make Christmas goodies. We're helping decorate the tree. Yay! And baby Taku, baby Kucha, and baby Lucy were getting ready for Santa Claus. to come soon. I hope he remembers to get our presents. I hope we get to hear him laugh and say... Ho, ho, ho! Suddenly, the babies heard someone at the door. Not 
not here, but he's left some presents. They are for Cha-Cha, Chica, and Cusley. Babies, Santa hasn't forgotten you. I'm sure he'll come back soon with presents for us all. After some time, the doorbell rang again. Go to the fireplace. Come on, let's go. Oh, look, these presents are for us, Jiku. <laughs> Santa must have left them here. for us, or Champ either. Someone else with me too. Ta da! Santa! Yay! <laughs> ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, kids! Yeah! Merry Christmas, babies! I didn't forget you. Come on, let's go eat the goodies you've made. Mmm, yummy. Yum, yum. Baby Taku, Baby Lucy, Baby Kucha, Choo Choo, and the others had a wonderful time that night and the best Christmas with Santa Claus and Mr. Harlow. Merry Christmas, everyone! Mmm, these 
sweets look yummy! Mommy! Daddy! Are we celebrating something today? Yes, Chiku and Chika. We are celebrating the festival of Diwali. With the whole of India. Huh? Diwali? India? Yes, Chika and Chiku. Diwali is a very important festival. It is celebrated all over India. From the north to the south. And all over the world, too, since it's so special. Diwali sounds like a lot of fun. But why do people celebrate Diwali? The people in the north of India celebrate Diwali to remember the Hindu god Lord Ram. And the people in the south celebrate it to remember another Hindu god, Lord Krishna. Both of them were very brave. And they both saved the world from some very cruel demons. Saved the world from demons? Wow! Yes, there are some lovely songs about Lord Rama and Lord Krishna and Diwali too. Songs about Lord Rama and Lord Krishna and Diwali? Can we listen to one now, please? Yes, kids, we can! Come on, everyone. First, let's listen to a song about Lord Krishna and how he saved the world from a demon named Narakasura. like Lord Krishna and save the world from demons. And I want to be brave like his wife and fight evil too. <laughs> you both are very brave. But come on now, let's get ready to celebrate Diwali. Mm. 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 Yum. 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 Yum.
Let's light some lamps now. After all, Diwali is the festival of lights. And now it's time for some fireworks! Hooray! Yay! Diwali is so much fun! Let's wish everyone who's celebrating Diwali with us today! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Happy, happy Diwali! Today's Christmas Eve. I just love Christmas. I love decorating the Christmas tree and helping Mommy bake Christmas cakes. But you know what my favorite thing about Christmas is? Getting presents! I love getting Christmas presents. So stick around with us. Don't you want to see what presents Taku, Cha-Cha, and I get? Wow, everything looks so beautiful! It sure does! Hey, Choo Choo and Taku! What would you really, really like to get as a Christmas gift? Dino! Blip, blip, baby! Want a dino? That's so sweet! Pika Pooka Paku! My baby brother, Taku! I hope you get a cuddly dinosaur this Christmas! How about you, Choo Choo? Um... You know what I'd really love? Is a shiny new piano! Choo Choo, I hope your wish for a brand new piano comes true! And you, Cha Cha? What gift are you dreaming of? What I really, really would love is a big red race car toy! I hope you get the present you're dreaming of, Cha-Cha. It's such fun thinking about Christmas presents. Hey, kids. What do you say we go out and have some fun in the snow? Yes! yes! Daddy, can we ride our bicycles? Sure, darling. Let's go! <laughs> Yay! This is fun! Hi, Mr. Roberts! Merry Christmas, Mr. Roberts! Hi, kids! Merry Christmas to you, too! Nice bikes! Thanks, Mr. Roberts! Actually, that's exactly the kind of bike I wanted to get for my little boy this Christmas. Hope you managed to get it, Mr. Roberts. Well, actually, no. I didn't manage to save enough money for it. Maybe next Christmas I'll get it for him. Bye-bye! All right, then. Should we go inside and decorate our Christmas tree? Yes, Daddy! Yes, Dada! Could that be? 
kids, it's Santa! Yay! It's Santa Claus! Merry Christmas, my dear children! Do you have any Christmas wishes? Is there anything you really want this Christmas? Yes, we do, Santa! Well, I'm going to sit here in this chair and you can come up to me one by one and whisper in my ear and tell me what you want. Thank you, Santa! You can go first, Baby Taku. Your turn, Choo Choo! This is amazing! Mr. and Mrs. Charlie, all three of your kids wished for exactly the same thing! You mean, you also asked for... Really? But they like such different things. How's that even possible? That's because they're very kind and generous kids. And they understand the true meaning of Christmas. Go ahead, kids. Tell your parents what you really, really want this Christmas. Well, Mommy, Daddy, we heard Mr. Roberts telling Daddy that he couldn't save enough money to buy a bicycle for his little boy. And when we heard that, we knew that the thing that would make us really happy is if Mr. Roberts' little boy could have a bike. And so we told Santa that we didn't really want anything for ourselves. What we really, really want this Christmas is for Mr. Roberts' boy to get a bicycle. Aw, you adorable sweethearts. What kind hearts you have. That's true Christmas spirit, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and Taku. We're so proud of you. And your Christmas wish will come true, dear kids. Merry Christmas! Our Christmas wish did come true. And we learned that making someone else happy can make you happy, too. Merry Christmas, everyone! Hope you bring joy to someone this Christmas. Hi! I'm Choo Choo. Today, Miss Dorothy is telling us about the world around us. About different people who live in it. I'm sure it'll be really exciting to learn about all this. Don't you think so? So, come on, join us. So kids, I want you to imagine something. Ready? Yes, yes Miss Dorothy. Imagine how it would be if all your toys were the same. That would be no fun, Miss Dorothy. And now, imagine if all your storybooks had the same story. And if all the colors in your coloring box were the same color. How oh, no! Nah. You're right. That would be so dull. Now, imagine if the world was made up of people who looked the same, wore the same kind of clothes, ate the same kind of food, spoke the same language, wouldn't that be dull too? Yes, Miss Dorothy, it would, it would be, be dull. dull. What makes our world exciting is that different people live in it. And just like it's fun to use different colors or read different stories, 
It's fun to get to know people who are different from us. Wow! I'd sure like to make friends with kids from different parts of the world. When I grow up, Miss Dorothy, I'll learn to speak different languages. And I'll travel to different places. And I'll learn to cook food from different countries. And I'll eat all the dishes you cook, Chiku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cusly! It's time for your snack break now, kids. I'm glad you enjoyed this class. You can go out and play now. I'll see you later. Thank you, Miss Dorothy! Hmm. What should we play today? Oh! I'll tell you what, let's take turns on the swings. Oh, Chica, you always want to play on the swings. It's your favorite thing to do. Why don't you think of something new? I will, I will. I'll think of something new, too. But please, can we first play on the swings? Okay, then. Let's go. We have a new girl in school. Shall we go up to her and make friends? What a great idea, Choo Choo. Let's do that. Oh, looks like she doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, some other time then, when she isn't busy. Let's carry on to the swings for now. You all carry on. I'll join you in a bit. Hi, I'm Chica. What's your name? Suki. Hi, Suki. Are you new to the school? I'd like to be your friend, Suki. Would you like that? Oh. Why is that, Suki? I scared everyone make fun of me. I'm from a different place. I look different. I speak different. I think no one wants to be my friend. Oh, that's not true, Suki. Just today in class, we discussed how exciting it is to meet kids from different places and get to know them. I do want to be your friend. And I'm sure all my friends will be excited to get to know you, too. Really? Yes, really. What's keeping Chica? He was so excited about the swings. Well, look at it this way. With one person less, our turns come faster. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go look for him? Yes, let's go. you are, Chica. We were waiting at the swings. Look! I've made a new friend! Oh, wow! That's great, Chica! We, we want, want to meet, meet your new friend, friend too, Chica. Chica! And I'm sure she wants to meet me, the greatest and smartest kid in school. Choo-choo, Cha-Cha, Chiku, and Cusley. Meet my new friend, Suki. Suki is from a different country. She's new in the school. She is scared no one would want to be her friend. Suki, we all want to be friends with you and get to know you. Thank you so much. I'm so scared of first day in new school. But look, I already made so many new friends. You're, You're welcome, Suki! And to welcome you as our new friend, we'd like to sing a song for you. Shall we? Yes! Here is one. Black or white, we all are human now. 
to make a new friend. Hope you had fun too. Bye! Can I tell you a secret? Today's my mommy's birthday. And Cha-Cha, Taku, and I have a surprise for her. We're gonna bake a cake for her. The best cake in the world. Come, watch how we do it. But shh, be very quiet. We don't want to wake mommy up. Cha-Cha, Taku, wake up. Do you remember what day it is? It's mom! Oh, oops! It's mommy's birthday! <laughs> Come on then, let's go bake the best cake in the world! For the best mommy in the world! Yippee! Daddy's gonna help us bake the best cake in the world! Thanks, Daddy! Let's get started, kids! We want to get it ready before Mommy wakes up, don't we? <laughs> so, what shape should the cake be? This one, Daddy! Okay! Let's get down to work. Choo Choo and Cha Cha, would you like to make the cake batter while I help Taku with the frosting? Yes, Daddy! to the batter? That's a great idea. She'd love that, Choo Choo. I've got this. A few drops. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. That's too much color. I think I just ruined the best cake in the world. Oh, Cha-Cha. Don't feel bad about it. It was a mistake. Come on. Cheer up, Cha-Cha. We'll still bake the best cake in the world. Daddy, I think we're ready to put this in the oven. Sure, darling. And now, we wait for a bit. It's done, Daddy! Ooh, Gaga! Wow! And now for the most fun part, the frosting! See that, Taku? There's plenty left. I'm sure I'll manage to cover the whole cake. I ruined it! It's not heart-shaped anymore! This was supposed to be a perfect cake, but everything's gone wrong! Color! The shape, the frosting, nothing's worked out. Choo Choo, don't cry, please. Daddy, this cake doesn't look that great. Can we please drive down to the cake shop and buy a nice one for Mommy instead? Aw, uh, Choo Choo, I can understand that you're feeling disappointed because the cake didn't turn out the way that you wanted. But let me tell you something. I've been watching the three of you, and 
I saw the love that you put into this cake. That's the magic ingredient, Choo Choo. That's what'll make it the best cake in the world. But it looks so, so wobbly. Choo Choo, I want you to think of something. Think of Mommy's treasure box. What does she keep in there? pictures we drew for her from the time we were babies. Exactly. And that's why I'm pretty sure that Mommy would prefer something that the three of you made rather than something that anyone can buy in a store. That's right, Daddy. Mommy loves the things we make her, even if they look kind of wobbly. Okay, come on. Let's take this to Mommy! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mommy! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! We baked this for you, Mommy! Aw, that's so sweet, kids! What a lovely surprise! Thank you, my darlings! Good. It's great, kids. I love it. You know why I love this cake so much? It's because I can feel the thoughtfulness that went into it. And I can taste the love that three little pairs of hands poured into it. For me, it's the best cake in the world. Okay, honey. It's just my back. It kind of hurts. All that bending and twisting from cleaning the car has made my back sore. Aw, honey. Maybe it's time we got you that car vacuum cleaner. Um, not yet. It cost a fair bit of money. And there are other important things we need to save up for right now. <laughs> what took you so long? Huh? What happened? Why do you look so sad, Choo Choo? I just overheard Mommy and Daddy talking. Daddy's back hurts. Oh no! Why? because of how much he has to bend while cleaning the car. He needs a car vacuum cleaner. But I heard Daddy say that right now there isn't enough money for it. Idea! We could help! You know those jars in which we've saved our pocket money? Let's give those to Mommy to buy a car vacuum cleaner with. Great idea! Let's go! The 
pocket money we've saved. We can use it to buy a car vacuum for Daddy. We know his back hurts. We heard you talking. He really needs one. Aw, you adorable sweethearts. You're such kind and generous kids. So, can we go to the store and buy one right away? Oh, darlings. It's so sweet of you to offer all your saved pocket money. But I'm afraid it won't be enough for a car vacuum cleaner. But don't you worry. We can make this work. You see, I've got some money saved up too for a vacuum for Daddy. We can add your pocket money to this. And let's see. We need just a little bit more. And here's a plan. Father's Day is just a few days away. Now, if you both can save a little more and fill up your jars in the next few days, we'll have enough to buy the vacuum cleaner and give it to Daddy as a Father's Day gift. That's a great plan, Mommy. We can do that, right, Cha-Cha? Yes, we can. Great. Gift money Grandpa gave us today. The little reward that Mr. Williams gave me for helping him rake his garden. What Cusley's mommy gave me for helping carry her groceries out of the car. What Mrs. Williams gave us for babysitting Kucha while she did her video call. Well done, Choo Choo and Cha Cha. Keep going. Wow! I want a chocolate cone with sprinkles. Maybe I could take some money out of my jar. But if I spend some of the saved money on ice cream, there won't be enough for Daddy's gift. Buying an ice cream is not as important as buying Daddy's gift. All right! You kids did it! You've managed to save what we need for Daddy's gift. Tomorrow's Father's Day. We'll go to the store first thing in the morning and buy the gift. Right, Mommy? That's right, kids. Tomorrow's the day. Yippee! I'll get it! Hey, Cha-Cha. Look what I just bought from the toy store with my pocket money. Sounds like quite an awesome car, Cha-Cha. And of course, you can have your saved pocket money. But remember, money once spent is gone. And maybe we won't be able to buy Daddy's gift tomorrow. Gone? Huh? No gift for Daddy. But we've been saving 
up just for that all these days. I'm going to stick with the plan. I'm going to hold on to the saved money for Daddy's gift, Mommy. Excellent decision, Cha-Cha. Huh? Happy Father's Day! Whoa! Happy Father's Day! Aw, oh, thank you! This is such a wonderful surprise! But how did you manage this? You'll be proud to know, honey, that Choo Choo and Cha Cha have been saving their pocket money for many days. And their savings helped us buy this gift. Oh, my darlings. I'm so proud of you. What a thoughtful gift. Now my back won't hurt anymore. It's the best gift ever. From, From the, the best, best kids, kids ever. ever.